the most classic tool. Now, do you know what? Do you know what MIP stands for? Here we go. Tell me what you think of those bad boys. Well, I've got rubber bits on the end of them to protect me. So we they're have very classic, aren't they? These are like the most classic tool. No. Yeah. I, I would like to say that there has ever been in radio control. These have been around for a very, very long time. And these actually used to be Thorpe screwdrivers. They used to be MIP Thorpe. And now they're just purely MIP. Now they've got a very old school sort of design on the handle. Now, do you know what, do you know what MIP stands for? I do. Oh, you do? Yeah. Yeah. Moore's, oh, should I tell? What, well, yeah. why not? Moore's Ideal Products, isn't it? Yes. Um, and they're a very old American manufacturer. Well, old compared to like RC. Yep. They've been making uh, MIP and Thorpe have yep. been making, um, yeah, tools and accessories for RC cars since its inception, haven't they? I'd like to say the eighties. They're probably the and, first and people to do like board diffs always, for frogs. Always very innovative. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and their their tooling is second to none. So, and they, they haven't really changed their design. Mm. Now we did get a huge restock. I've just got a couple of the products that I wanted to bring to people's attention. Yeah. So this is a power bit set. Where the one and a half, a two, uh, and a two and a half mil bit in there. Yeah, they're the most common. They're the most common ones mm. that you're going to use. Probably not the one and a half so much in your drill, but you never know. You might get some some people out there that want to do their pinions with a with a cordless <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> but definitely, yeah. And they're they're a tall steel construction, hardened steel um, driver bit. Yeah. So really good quality, and these will be super popular. They come with, like BJ said, they come with a little rubber dunger. That's yeah, and it's got the MIP actually printed on there too. Yeah. And if you're really cool, what we what you do is you have that MIP on your, you take it off here and put it on your antenna tube. Oh. And then you'd have an MIP antenna tube on your oh. car. Hey? Yeah, you it's pretty luxurious, were, you isn't it? You thought you were eating a bit. So, yeah, MIP. So, this is their power bit tool. And that comes in, like I said, in a packet of three. Um, And then, likewise, we've got a packet of three of their bits. Yep. With the handles yeah because it is essentially the same bits um but yeah molded into the into the resin resin yep. yeah plastic handle and that's a very retro type of um, isn't it shape it's got the sort of hexagonal sort of profile yeah isn't it? but it's also extremely comfy yeah extremely ergonomic yeah um yeah there's been a lot of tendy uh, trendier and cooler tools mm. lately mm. but really when it comes down to it the mip still is fantastic quality yeah Great Definitely. value and really popular. So yeah, so we had an MIP restock this week. So I just sort of thought I wanted to show these to everybody, show them off. Um, yeah. Yeah, classic. And it quite amazes me that MIP is still around yeah. and being innovative all the time. I mean, the things that I remember is when MIP actually made a conversion for the original RC10 to turn into a four-wheel drive, and that's incredibly rare now. Yeah. Have you seen them? They got a the little yeah. gearbox in the front with the chain drive. Yeah. They and then did, they did ball discs for frogs. Yes um gearbox conversions like you said yeah they did all sorts of weird and wonderful things you can't, you can't forget the mip cvds too. cvds they, cvds were in almost they, they every single competition with, car that you have to come you have to buy them with your buggy yes you know yes you had to buy your buggy then the first thing you would buy usually the first two things were lunsford turnbuckles yep and mip cvds because they used to come with real cheesy uh turnbuckle that i'd, I'd break all the time yep. and the cvds because they were just cool they just work, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, rebuildable. Fantastic. But there's the classic tools. You can't go wrong with them. Yeah. MIP. MIP. Get Excellent. amongst it. Get amongst it.